What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked level battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are going to be rocking out with an off-meta Pokemon that I think is very cool. We got ourselves a Ditto Team for Regulation E. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But Ditto is one of those Pokemon that I actually haven't seen on the rank ladder yet. So it's going to be definitely cool to showcase it and use it on the rank ladder. Ditto's got Imposter as an ability. So every time it hops onto the field, it will actually transform into the Pokemon that it's up against. So it's really cool to take all the stat changes, all the move stuff. So very situational, but I think we could pull it off, grab some wins for you guys. But uh, Tornadus is going to be the first Pokemon that we talk about in today's team preview. With Prankster and the Mental Herb, and then with Tailwind, Bleak Wind, Storm, Icy Wind, and Rain Dance. Really good Pokemon all around. You got some speed control, you got some damage, and also you got weather control, which is very massive in Regulation E. Arcanine is our second Pokemon with Intimidate in the Soul Vest. Great move setup, Extreme Speed, Rock Slide, Bulldoze, and Flare Blitz. In our third slot, we got Golden Go, and Golden Go is just a great Pokemon all around, especially paired up with Tornadus. Tornadus can pop the Tailwind, give that thing Speed Control, and then you can just hit really hard with Make It Rain. As good as Gold adds stability with the Leftovers as item, and then Nasty Pot, Shadow Ball, and Protect for its other three moves. In our fourth slot, we got Wellspring Ogre Pond with Water Absorb as its ability, then Follow Me, Ivy Cudgel, Horn Leech, and Spiky Shield, arguably the best move set for Water Ogre Pond. In our fifth slot, we got Water Urge Fruit. We got Rain Dance on Torn Tornadus, so it can really make it do some big time damage. Unseen Fist with the Choice Scarf to make it as fast as possible. Then Surgeon Strikes, Rock Slide, Close Combat, and U Turn. In our final slot is the Ditto. Imposter with the Citrus Berry, Fairy Terror type, and Transform. Like I said, it transforms into the other Pokemon, so it doesn't really have a moveset. It just takes whatever Pokemon it's transforming into. Guys, if you want to run this team for yourself, run the code is that top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that regulation E ladder. Look to showcase Ditto. I just realized it is a brand new season. Zero and zero, we're back in the Great Ball tier. So what a perfect time to actually showcase a nice off-meta Ditto team. Hopefully we go up against some nice off-meta teams and we have some fun in today's video because you guys know the master tier ladder right now is very niche. A lot of people are just using the same meta squad and kind of getting after it that way, which I don't blame them. They're super strong and we're still going up against a decently meta squad, but it does have competitive Empoleon. They also have Iron Hands. Fluttermane, Ogre Pond just like us, and then Intimidate Landers, and Chiyu to pair up with that Fluttermane. I think Speed Control is going to be massive for us, so I am going to lead Tornados. I just think Tailwind is huge, they don't really have too much Speed Control here. And then I can also go in the Golden Go. I don't think Golden Go would be bad, right? I kind of like Golden Go here. We got Dragon Terror type, which is not too shabby, especially if we're going up against Chiyu. But I like Tornados and Golden Go. We're definitely going to bring Ditto in the back end, and then last but not least, either Ogre Pond or Urshifu. And I'm kind of leaning towards Urshifu here. Actually, am I? If they bring Ogre Pond, that's a little bit of a problem, right? Definitely a little bit of a problem, but Choice Scarf on the Urshifu, pretty massive. I'm going to go Urshifu here. We just got to watch out for the Water Absorb while Spring Ogre Pond. That, that could definitely be a little bit of an issue, especially with the Choice Scarf. So we're just going to have to watch out for that. Maybe have Ditto come in later in the game just in case that happens because then I can just transform. I can use some Grass moves, have Water Absorb as well, and just kind of get after it that way. So we'll see. We shall see who they are going to lead. And I wonder if Ditto transforms. Say, if I can I transform into somebody who's terrestrialized? Would I terrestrialize into that typing? I actually never used Ditto on the rank ladder here, so I don't really know. Like, say they go Ogre Pond and it puts its mask on, and I pop into Ditto. Can I transform into that Ogre Pond with the mask on? I don't know. I don't know. But these two are going to come out here. I really like our lead. Probably thinking that we're Covert Cloak. So honestly, I think we just get after it. Maybe I might just Icy Wind, because you should be able to outspeed already, right, Renanus? You should be able to outspeed already. Actually, you don't. Icy Wind would be lovely, though. So I'm going to go for a Tailwind here, and I might just protect you. Well, I could go for Nasty Pot. I could definitely go for Nasty Pot if I wanted to. I could go Dragon Terror, which wouldn't be bad, but um, I might just go for Nasty Plot here. That's going to be my play. I'm going to go for Nasty Plot. The so Fake Out's going to come out here, and that kind of sucks. He doesn't think that we have Curve Cloak, and he gets off a big time Fake Out. So the Fake Out comes out here. Stomping Cancer is going to fly. I think you should be able to soak this up. You do. Beautiful. Lovely. Now we get off a Nasty Plot. 
So from here, now we're gonna Tailwind, we're gonna pop a Maker Ring, we're gonna look to do as much damage as we possibly can. As much damage as we possibly can. Good thing we were able to soak that up. I was gonna Dragon Terror just in case, but I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Now Tailwind's gonna come out here, we're gonna just pop a nice, lovely Make It Rain. Look to just do as much damage as we possibly can with this Pokemon. They have no first turn priority on the field. You could be Choice Scarf, but I think with this Tailwind, Golden Go could still outspeed. And it does. Beautiful. So we get off a plus two make it rain. KO into Lando. That's that's massive. That's huge. Not really doing a lot of damage to the Iron Hands, but still, I'll take a big time KO coming out there. So from here, he's just gonna Volt Switch Pivot. We still get off these Pokemon and we have both of them out on the field. So I do wonder who they're gonna go into. I think whoever they go into, we either want to Bleak Windstorm or Icy Wind. And just try to get some speed control or damage off for after Tailwind ends. So I do like that. So they're gonna go into Empoleon, so Icy Wind definitely not to play. Definitely not to play. And what other Pokemon are you gonna go into? So we get a big time KO. Speed is our friend right now. Speed is definitely our friend. And they're gonna go into Ogre Pond. So Ogre Pond comes out here. This is Bleak Wind Storm time all day. So I'm gonna go for Bleak Wind Storm, and I'm just gonna go for Shadow Ball, and I'm gonna double down into the Ogre Pond slot. Am I gonna double down in the Ogre Pond slot? Yeah, I think I am. But I think he's going to put a mask on at this point and maybe get a special defense boost. So, I'm going to go after it. Yep, there's the mask. The mask comes out. The special defense boost coming out from Ogre Pond. Just straight water type now. And we're hoping this Bleak Wind Storm does not lower speed of Empoleon. Because that could be, that can be really ugly. That can get really ugly. The Bleak Wind Storm's gonna fly here. No speed drop onto the Empoleon. You can speed drop Ogre Pond all day, just not Empoleon. Nice. Lovely. Perfect. That was perfect. That was perfect. Nice little speed drop on the Ogre Pond. We're dealing some nice damage. And a Horn Leech gonna come across here. <clears throat> finish us off. And then probably Empoleon's gonna hit us with like a Flash Cannon or something. Just to finish off our Tornadus. But <clears throat> I like where we're sitting. We can bring out Ditto next turn, which is gonna be awesome. I'm kind of hoping this actually KOs me because I want some Tailwind turns, and of course it doesn't. But I think now is the time to bring out Ditto. I think now is a perfect time to bring out Ditto, right? Get Ditto cooking and save our Choice Scarf. Yeah. Because we got to get rid of Ogre Pond before anything. So I'm going to go Ditto here. I should transform into the, uh, the Ogre Pond. And I guess I don't. I guess you can't if they terrestrialize. What? Again, this is my first time using Ditto, so I don't, I don't really know. I don't really know. Oh, I had to click transform. Yeah, I'm gonna try to transform into Ogre Pond. It ends up withdrawing Ogre Pond. That's fine. So we're gonna transform into whatever Pokemon he throws out here. I'm kind of hoping it's like Flutterman or something. Gonna be Iron. I forgot they had Iron Hands, and this actually could work out well. So Blink Wind Storm's gonna come out here. One Pokemon dodge it, and do not get the speed drop. Please do not get the speed drop. Of course we get the speed drop. So competitive is gonna boost his special attack to plus two. Transform's gonna come out here, and now I'm Iron Hands. So cool. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. He's gonna yawn me here as well. You little biscuit, gonna yawn me. <laughs> I get drowsy. So we do have Urshu in the back end with Choice Scarf. That's pretty good for us. And I think from here, we're just gonna go Bleak Wind Storm. And am I allowed to fake out after this? I would love to fake out. I could just Drain Punch. Which might even be my play. Yeah, I'm gonna try a Drain Punch, Empoleon. The Fake Out's gonna come out here. She's gonna fake out the Ditto slot. And Bleak Wind Storm's still gonna be able to land here. Dealing some decent damage. Maybe getting another speed drop. Let's see. There it is. Cool. Not on Empoleon, right? Stop! This thing is plus four. <laughs> He's plus four. So Ditto flinches. Let's see what Empoleon's going for. He's going for a Brine here. And he's just ripping my Ditto. So Ditto's out, down for the count. Kinda sucks. And I really thought Ditto would hop into battle and transform right away. That's what he did in Sword and Shield, at least. Due to its ability. Imposter. But I guess maybe if they have Terra, you can't. But it's all good. We're just gonna go into another Bleak Wind Storm. I think speed is ours right now. 
And I think I would rather choice into close combat, right? Who would I rather KO here? I think we had to KO you. But to rasalize you? Straight water? No, there's no point. There's no point. I think we saved the Terra. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna close combat this slot. We're gonna look to KO him. The close combat comes out here. He is bulky and Bleak Wind Storm. I need you land here. I need you landing here. I need you. I need you here, Bleak Wind Storm. It's landing. Cool. So maybe, just maybe, Empoleon goes after my my Tornadus, which would be pretty big. But other than that, I think we kind of lose this match all day. Right? Yeah, Flash Cannon's gonna come out here. And yeah, if he, I mean, we could probably one-shot both Pokemon, but if we take a hit, we're dead all day. We are dead all day. So we're choosing the close combat. It will KO Empoleon, but our special defense is going to be so low. It's just, it's just terrible. It's just terrible. So I'm still going to go after Ogre Pond. I'm going to try, try to KO the Ogre Pond here. And we're going to hope we can eat up a shot from Empoleon. That would be our best bet, right? That would be our best bet. Like, I mean, I could Terrasalize. I could. Would that do anything? Not really, right? It would do nothing. Thinking of all their moves they could possibly have. I think we just do it anyway, just in case they want to use a weird move. We kind of just get after it that way. But I'm going to Terrasalize, go Water type, and we're looking to make this comeback, but it's not looking so hot for us. Ditto really dying out to the Brian. I think the Brian got a crit, and they're faking us out too. Kind of hurts us all. But I'm going to... Terrasalize you. Close combat should finish you off, but now we're minus two on special defense, and he's plus four on special attack. The thing is, if we KO the employee on this turn, he would just horn leech us and KO us in one shot, no problem. So we're kind of hoping we could somehow eat this up. I, I don't, I don't think there's a possibility, or maybe he can miss an attack, something like that. But a flash can's gonna fly here. Can we soak? That's what I was hoping we would soak, but still not very effective. KOs us all one shot. I think it was plus four on that special attack slot. And uh, we were minus two on special defense. So solid match all around. Let's go hop through a second. Look to use Ditto a little bit more. Hopping into our second match. And we lost our first match of the brand new season. We'd love to redeem ourselves with Ditto here in match number two. But we're going up against a Water Ogre Pond team just like us. But they also have Fax Caliber. They have a Fake Out user with Willaboom. They have Weather Control with Ninetales. And then they're rocking out with Heatran. And last but not least, Landris. So Tornado is definitely going to be a pretty standard lead for us. We can get speed control. We can also take weather control if they want to go into nine tails. So I like Tornadus here. So I'm going to go Tornadus. And on top of that, do I go Golden Go? Golden Go is not bad. I mean, Heat Trans here, a little bit of an issue. But I do have some other Pokemon I can kind of get after it, like Urshfu, Ogre Pond. So I'm going to go Tornadus here. And I think I'm just going to lead a special attacker like Ogre right? Are you special attacking, right? Like, you're actually physical, aren't you? Yeah, Ivy Cudgel and Horn Leech. Mm, so attack drop could do be bad. I could intimidate myself. That wouldn't be bad. Um, or I could just go Urshfu. Huh. A lot of options. Golden Go's not bad like we did in the last match. I can kind of get down for that, right? Let's go Golden Go. Yeah. Let's go Tornado's Golden Go. Ditto Urshfu. The same squad as last time. I'm really, I'm really about it. I'm really about it. I like it a lot. Obviously, Ogre Palm would probably be better than Ditto, but hey, I'm making a video. I'm trying to have some fun. We're going to use Ditto as much as we possibly can. I would love to grab ourselves a win here, too. It would be dark. It would be lovely. Just get Ditto out there. Transform. Start ripping. We ends up going Nine Tails and Max Caliber. So, yeah, this is just an easy Rain Dance turn one. And then just Rain Dance. Or not or not Rain Dance. Uh, make it Rain. Just Rain Dance and make it Rain. Double Rain. So rain Dance is going to come out here. I might just Nasty Pot this turn. I am going to go for Nasty Pot this turn. Because they might swap. They might protect. This lead is perfect up against the up against the hail or the snow in this instance. I like it a lot. I definitely do. So yep, there's a withdrawal. Nasty plot. The right play. Hopefully he's going for Aurora Veil. We would love that. We would love Aurora Veil to come out here. We would love for them to try to pull off Aurora Veil. So they swap into their intimidate Pokemon, and I don't mind that at all. And they're gonna end up terrestrializing nine tails. What type you got? Don't be fire. Please don't be fire with Terra Blast. That'd be so absurd. Water. Okay, I don't I don't I don't mind that. I don't mind that. Again, I'm just really hoping you're going for a roar belt and wasting a turn here. The rain dance comes out here, we say, hey yo, that's snow, knock it off. It's done. It's done with. We're not dealing with it. He's gonna encore me into rain dance. 
A smart play. It's a real smart play, but I do have mental herb. Won't that take it away? Yeah! Yeah! Mental herb. That's that's massive. Because I was going to say, I was going to be very upset because that would have been such a good play if they encored me because then I would not have been able to tailwind this turn. But now I can tailwind freely, and now I'm plus two, and now I'm still going to launch this make it rain. Now we're still going to make it rain. So mental herb coming in clutch. It's coming in clutch. That's clutch mental herb. The tailwind comes out here. If we hit this landers kind of like in that last match, we should just be able to one tap it and go out there, right? Say bye bye to Lando. Yeah, Lando, get on out of here. Get on out of here. So that's a big time KO onto Lando. We're still plus one on special attack. But now, Nine Tails, what are you doing? We shouldn't go for an Icy Wind. I'm good as gold, so that's fine. I'm not really too worried about Tornadus. So. I don't believe I get stat changes. Actually, we do get stat changes. We don't get, like, uh, what is it called? What is that even called? I can't even remember it. Uh, status conditions. So. We'll do that. We should still outspeed because technically we're still plus one. Tailwind X is a plus two on speed. And they're going to bring out Rillaboom. So Rillaboom can easily just go for fake out. Can't fake out my Golden Go, which is pretty big. And then from here, we just probably pop another Make It Rain. We'll try to go for Bleak Wind Storm, if anything, right? Bleak Wind Storm, Make It Rain. Yeah, we're trying to do as much damage. So. I'm all about it. And they cancel battle that quickly. So a solid lead for us. We don't even get to use Ditto. Let's try to use it in the third and final match. Third and final match is here. Would love to use Ditto in match number two, but we just dominated with Golden Go and Tornado. So I'm definitely going to try to use it here in match number three. But they got a little bit of a Trick Room action going on here. They got Ursa Luna. They also have Indeedee Armors, a top tier combo, and then Mousehold, Tornadus, and Urshifu. So, who do I want to go into here? I think Ditto is going to be great. I might actually lead Ditto turn one. Should I go for the lead of Ditto? I'm actually about it. I'm going to go Ditto here for a nice level lead, even though he's not really a lead Pokemon. But do I want to go Ditto for a lead? I really want to, but at the same time, I don't. I think Arcanine could be pretty solid here. I think Golden Go could be solid. I think we're going to end up leading Arcanine. I feel like Rock Side is going to be beautiful, especially if they go in DD Armors and we can really get ripping from there. I like it. I like it a lot, especially with Assault Vest, too. So I'm going to do that. I am going to go. Do I go Wellspring? I'm going to put the mask on and get a special defense boost. I like that. So we'll go Wellspring. We will bring Ditto. And then last but not least, do I go Golden Go or Urshifu? I said we go Urshifu. Especially if Trick Room ends or if they decide not to pop Trick Room. We can really just get after it with Urshifu. Just a solid Pokemon. But we're 1-1. One one. Would love to go 2-1 and, and use Ditto here a little bit more. Because that first match we were able to transform, but then they brined me. Got a nice big time crit with KO and me regardless. And just taking me out. So. Let's see how this one plays. They're going to go in DD and Armage. And I my Oh my lord. I should have led the Ditto. That would have been across from the uh, the arm region, would have been pretty solid, but I don't mind the sleep. I actually really like the sleep. The so psychic surge is gonna come out here, um, and yeah, should be thriving here. He's gonna psychic seeds get the special defense boost, and I think I just drop a nice little bit of rock slide. And at the same time, we could put the mask on, get the special defense boost, and just go for a Ivy Cudgel. And I'm going to throw it into the Indeedy slot because I think Armouge potentially could be terrestrialized in the grass. It could be a little bit of a problem. I guess not. I guess not. I think he's just going to follow me. So I'm going to put the mask on. I really wanted it for the special defense boost. It's going to definitely help us out up against these special attackers. And follow me, Trick Room is probably the play here. Embody Aspect. Bring it out. Bring it out. So no, he is terrestrialized. He's going to end up to us. And yeah, grass typing, if I had to guess. Yeah, pretty straightforward. Pretty simple. I think he still goes for follow me, potentially. Just in case the Floyd Blitz was going in that slot. But you could be flash fired as well. So yeah, there's the follow me. So maybe, just maybe we get off a of flinch with Rock Slide onto the Arm Rouge. That would be massive. But Ivy Cudge is going to come across here. It's going to deal some nice, lovely damage. And that's some nice, lovely damage. Rock Slide's going to connect. Can we get the flinch onto the armors? And of course, Indeedee's living on one. Really hurts soul and no flinch comes out here. Really, Indeedee? One HP? That's so ugly. That's that's the ugliest of uglies. So from here, who's faster? Arcanine, are you faster than... You're going to be faster. Okay. 
So in Trick Room, my Arcanite is faster, meaning he will go first. I really want to go for a Rock Slide. But you know what? We're just gonna... We're just gonna keep going with Rock Slide. So I'll go Rock Slide, and I might just follow me, or I should just Ivy Cudgel. I'm gonna go for an Ivy Cudgel. He'll do as much damage as he can. So follow me ends up coming out here. Ivy Cudgel's gonna go in that slot. Rock Slide's still gonna land. And out comes Expanding Force, which is scary. Dealing half damage. That's real scary. Armor's got the life orb. Rock Slide is going to connect, and Rock Slide's going first in Trick Room over Ivy. Wait a minute. Why is that? Shouldn't my. That works, but shouldn't my. Shouldn't my Ogre Pond go last? Oh no, no, everything worked out perfectly. No, no, I, I just misread it. No, no, that was correct. That was correct. Yeah, Arcanine goes first in Rock Slides. That works perfectly. I just read it wrong. But Urshifu now comes out here alongside with Ursuluna. So Double Bear. The Double Bear comes out here. Um, if I can get off Flare Blitz, I would love to. It's better than Rock Slide on both these Pokemon. I'm going to go for Flare Blitz here. And honestly, I might just Spiky Shield here. I'm going to Spiky Shield because I kind of want them to take out... I kind of want them to take out my Arcanine, and then I can follow me and transform with Ditto, which would be pretty sick. And Ursula is going to go for a Seed Bomb. You got Seed Bomb? Why do you have Seed Bomb? I don't like that one bit. Certain Strikes going to come out here. This is actually rather scary. But I now get to bring out the lovely Ditto. And that thing's going to trigger Guts. I'm going to save my Ursula with the Choice Scarf. It is going to fly out here. And it should just transform, right? It should transform upon, uh, like, hopping into battle here, right? Yeah, there it goes. So I guess in the first match, with Terrastalizing, it doesn't work. So I can't even Terrastalize Ditto either. It's actually crazy. I have Aqua Jet if I want to use it. I could go Surgeon Strikes. I'm probably going to go Surgeon Strikes in this slot. Follow me, Surgeon Strikes would probably work best. I love it. Yeah, follow me, Surgeon Strikes. If he wants to C-bomb somebody, he can C-bomb us. How many turns are left in there? Two turns left in Trick Room, which is... Ooh. Ooh. Let me see this moveset again. You have Detect. I could Detect a turn, but I think just Surgeon Strikes this turn and Detecting next turn is probably going to be your play. And I'm just going to go follow me here. A little bit of Ditto action to finish off today's video. The facade's going to come out here. It's going to chaos all day. And I don't think Urshifu could KO my Urshifu. I really don't think that's possible. But Surgeon Strikes has high chance of KO in here, which would be lovely. Let's see how this plays out here. And he goes for close combat. We should be able to soak that. We do. Beautiful. Lovely. They got a big time defense drop. We like that a lot. And I eat up a berry. Lovely citrus berry coming out here. Beautiful. Ditto rocking out. Yo, Ditto is so much fun. Surgeon Strikes coming out here. That's going to be some big time damage, but I don't think it's going to be able to KO. Oh, that's cutting it close. That's cutting it real close. That's so close. It really hurts the soul. Really hurts the soul how close we were to KO. Burn my KO. It does KO. Let's go. Ditto clutching. Coming up big. And now we're going to have a funny thing going on here. We're going to have three Urshfus on the field. Which is actually awesome. Triple bear. Triple water Urshfu on the field. Look at it. <laughs> it's so funny. But from here, I'm going to go close combat. And I'm choice scarf, so I'm just going to choice into close combat. I'm going to double down. And we're going to get after it. Battle was canceled. Let's go. Ditto clutching up in match number three. We go two and one. What a video today showcasing Ditto on the rank ladder. We learned that Ditto can... Uh, can what a video showcasing Ditto on the rank ladder. We actually learned that Ditto cannot transform if another Pokemon is Terrastalized, or that might only be if Ogre Pond has its mask on. I'm not too sure, but in that third and final match, we were able to pop it in there, transform in the Urshu, clutch up, KO Ursaluna, and make our opponent quit. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread spots every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.